All right, butter. This is our bread and butter, man. It's a good one. It's a really good one, okay? Butter is a take route by number three, okay? A bubble by number two, and number one's going to block for the bubble. If we're out of a three-by-one set, we have a, our, our boundary receiver run a snitch. That's a hitch or a snap, snitch, okay? Versus, and again, it, it, it's – how can you make it simpler? Like we used to just run a go ball or, you know, a slant or an automatic comeback, like an automatic, like a snap route, automatic back shoulder. Um, but what we've done is try to have the best answer no matter what. And we really feel like this is a good concept to have that, that gives you answers no matter what guys are playing. So it starts with, like I said, number th conceptually, don't say like, oh, tight end, you have this, slot receiver, you have that, uh-uh. Teach them concepts, one, two, and three. So number one is blocking for the bubble. Number two is running the bubble. Number three is running the take route. Number one in the boundary, okay, is running the snitch route. He's going to run a hitch, which is third outside versus off coverage. And versus press, he's going to run a snap route, which is fourth outside. And, again, that's all timing, and that turns into, like, a, a, a glorified back shoulder, Okay. And you get to get the corner running vertically, man, and throw them by and come back down your stem. And then the only adjustment to that snitch route is if the corner were to blitz, we would run a width hitch, okay? The take route, there's a lot of detail to it. We, this is what we want to do, essentially, okay? What we're trying to do is catch the ball where you would have caught it if it was a stick route, but we want you still running vertically. So we're trying to have our cake and eat it too. So what we say is get width, get vertical, full speed, put stress on the mic, width and vertical, man, width and vertical, go. When you get to six yards, you better throttle down, throw, throw your elbow into your hip, turn your shoulder, still stay vertical, but slow down. Don't cover yourself. Don't let a safety cover you. We want to pop the ball on you at about seven or eight yards, maybe nine at the most. That way you can catch it, you can tuck the ball away, and you can square up the safety and stick a foot and make a miss or go near leg, near shoulder and run them over, right? Um, that, that detail is so important because guys will just run right through the zone and they'll cover themselves up, okay? And then other, also guys will just run vertically and they don't put any stress on the mic. You got to get wet. You got to get vertical. And that's going to put stress on the mic. And he's probably going to relate to you and you're going to hand the ball off and get an efficient play. And that's all, that's all these plays are designed to do, just playing efficient football. First and second down, efficient football. So here we are running out of three by one. Okay. <laughs> all right. Butter. Here we go. Last one. So all we're doing is putting the backside backer and run past conflict. It all starts with him. There's the mic. He's fitting the run. I'm throwing that take route all day to the tight end. Running back, go ball to backer. Quarterback popped the ball on him, okay? All right, so what did we do here? We – did we hand it off? No, beautiful. We threw the hitch out in the boundary. Why? That's the alert. That's like, hey, man, corner's off, off and soft. Throw it all day, off and soft. It's like – that's like high school coverage. No, that's real, man. College football, NFL, don't matter. Football is football. He's off and soft. I'm raising up throwing the hitch, Okay. Here we are doing it right here. Right here, we're going to pop the ball to the tight end. This versus Ohio State. I remember this one. Great job. Tight end getting width, getting vertical. And guess what? Don't cover yourself. Go back. Don't let the tight end – don't let the safety knock your head off, man. Trust me. I promise you. Get width, get vertical. Throttle at six yards. We're going to pop the ball on your back hip. You're going to catch, tuck, turn, and you're going to make the safety miss and go score. That's my mentality. Okay? Great job. Here it is again. This is like in the openers. Okay, we motion across. We're in 12 personnel. Why we motion? Get a man zone indicator. We see a zone. We see the mic backer fit the run. We're running pin and pull off of this. You get great flow. It cuts the defense in half. I'm going to mesh the ball, pull it, and I'm going to pop the ball in the tight end. Okay, the bubble is kind of like a pre snap alert, all based off the apex defender. It's like, do I like it? Eh, not really. I'm going to read the backside backer, either hand, win it out, hand it out. Okay, so like right here, I might throw the bubble. The, the nickel is kind of tight. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Called it out. Yep. Now go hash number sideline, man. Hash number sideline. 
okay? Up top, when we're, we're stock blocking, we want to come off, we want to cruise, we want to drop our weight, okay? We want to go where the defender will be, not where he's at. I heard a really good coaching point the other day. Go where he winds up, not where he lines up, okay? Where is he going to wind up? Where the ball is. Where's the ball going? Hash number sign, hash number sideline. Go where he winds up, not where he lines up, all right? Here we are reading the backside backer, okay? Again, he felt like the nickel was kind of tucked, so he's going to take the, the bubble, and that's good, man. Throw a bubble on second and six and make it third and two or third and one. That's a great place to be as a play caller. Very manageable situation. Okay, next one. All right, here we are in open formation, three by one. Okay, and again, I got press down here at the bottom. I can throw my snap route if I like the matchup. And if not, I'm just going to read that backside backer. He fits the run. I'm going to throw the little take route to the tight end. Good. Okay. So another really good, just normal down and distance RPO that we, we hang our hat on and feel, feel like we, you know, can, can go up and down the field, normal down and distance. And really we started, again, like I, I said on all these, man, you end up looking up and you're like, man, run these on third down. Uh, we got great um, reps at it. We got conviction about it. Our quarterbacks know what to do. And we got answers, you know. All right. Any questions on that?